Well, Laura, we have some rain to talk about for today. Yeah, most of us will say dry today, but there is the chance we could see some late day isolated pop up showers with storms. We've got so much moisture in the atmosphere. Let's go ahead and break down the weather headlines. We do have a lot to walk through. Can get confusing when we have several days with a severe risk. So a level one risk today and tomorrow. That means isolated. Some of you could see a storm develop over your area. One or two of those could become severe with winds up damaging winds up to 50 to 60 miles per hour. Uh, so we'll be watching and see if we see any of those develop. Most of you again will stay dry. Uh, weather alert day for us on Thursday. Level two severe risk with scattered storms around the area. Some of those could actually pack a punch with a strong cold front coming through providing that lift and with heating all the moisture we have uh, certainly uh, could see uh, more coverage there on uh, Thursday. Cooler this weekend behind that front highs in the 70s. Moms, you are going to love it with lower humidity. Here's where the threat is here today moving eastward. Level three risk there over the Ohio Valley and it, the level two risk stretches down into the Tennessee Valley. But for us, that level one risk does remain. So the big picture, as you can see, we've got that cold front. It's going to be a moving eastward and that's going to help uh, to provide some lift and we're going to stay in this warm unsettled uh, moist to flow here over the next couple of days before we can see those winds shift out of the northwest drier uh, cooler air will settle in by the weekend visible satellite showing some of those clouds overhead uh, right now but no rain in the forecast right this minute or on radar I should say uh, but as we move into the afternoon and evening here we are at three we could start to see the development of some of those pop up showers and storms very difficult to say exactly where that's going to set up, uh, but certainly just, you know, keep an eye on radar. Looks like mainly to around north of Raleigh would be the best chance here around 8 p.m. The sun sets things quiet down and then overnight into tomorrow. We could see a few little showers move through. But it's going to be tomorrow afternoon where we start to see those showers and storms refire off, uh, fire up into the afternoon and evening. Here we are at 8 p.m. as that warm front gets closer. Here we are on a Thursday morning. All that rain over Tennessee and that cold front moves east and we'll have those rain and storms right around the region. As we get into the afternoon and evening, some of those could uh, redevelop. So radar is not going to look exactly like this, but we're certainly uh, going to have that higher risk on Thursday, mainly afternoon and evening. Damaging winds, isolated tornado even hail uh, possible there on Thursday. And so rainfall forecast amounts uh, could reach up to about an inch of rainfall across the area. Uh, some lower amounts, about a half inch. We picked up a half inch yesterday, uh, recorded that at RDU. So that's some good news helping us out a little bit. Uh, we'll take anything we can get at this point. Uh, another look at the drought monitor coming out on Thursday. We'll get an update on that. Upper 70s, around 80 degrees here this afternoon. It's a little muggy out there as well. And so temperatures a little bit warmer, upper 80s with that chance for a few isolated storms after 4 or 5 o'clock, mid 80s at 6, low 80s at 8. If you have plans this evening, just check radar. Uh, and then, of course, uh, you should be just fine. I wouldn't cancel plans. Humid through Thursday as we get into the weekend. It comes back down into the comfortable category. So it is a storm team alert day. As we get closer, we'll fine tune those details and timing and amounts for a rain and those when those storms arrive and leave our area. But looking more like uh, morning time will be unsettled into the early afternoon. And again, as we approach the evening hours this weekend, 70s mornings in the 50s doesn't get much better than that.